brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. What's going on, Joe? Hey, I was calling in. I was wondering um, how do I go about dating when I come from an affluent family? Um, you know, many girls' parents will see me as a big dollar sign instead of seeing me for who I am. Mm. And I was wondering, I was wondering what your thoughts are because I face that problem with many families. Is how, your, how do they know? That's what I was going to say. Um, you know, usually when you meet a girl's parents, they ask you what your parents do for work, which is a very um, normal really? thing to ask somebody. And then when you tell them, can you, we, you come from, a, yeah. Can we ask you what, what do your parents do for work? Um, well, it's more of my family. Um, I, I have multiple cardiologists in my family between my cousins and everyone. Okay. So that's, uh. And that's your leading talking point when you're on a date? I don't understand how your whole family comes up in this situation. Well, um, not when you're on a date, but when the girl brings you around her parents. And what's your, okay, so what's your family's net worth? Like just your immediate family, what's the net worth of your parents? Um, it's substantial. <laughs> like 10, 10 million, 20 million? Uh, yes. Okay. So I would not have garnered that just from you talking to me. I would have thought, oh, they're doctors. That's great. Um, if, if, if I said to you, Joe, what do your parents do? And you said, oh, they're in the medical field. And I said, really? Oh, well, what do they do in the medical field? If you said, oh, my dad's a heart surgeon and my mom's a anesthesiologist. Real talk. I would be like, okay, they got some coin. Like, I would just derive that, but I don't think that I would even think to ask further. I wouldn't go, really? So how has that calculated? So how are they getting to the point of knowing? Does your family have a name that people recognize in yes, the community? That is correct. Yes. In Jacksonville, Florida. Okay. So is there a name on a hospital or something like that? Yes. Yes, it is. I, I see. Okay. So it's much more obvious than you having to bring it up and talk about it. Exactly. That's, that's well, what correct. does the what a family have to do with it? What is your fear going into this? They see you as a dollar sign. What does that mean to you? Well, it, it just really uh, worries me because I have to wonder what they're telling, what you know, the girl's parents are going to tell their daughter when I'm not around. Um, you know what? Um, like, don't let him go. Make sure you do. You know, yeah. don't. I get you know, it. I get it. Taking, I get it. Uh, taking more interest in me than other other people. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I think you're going to need some discernment as you date to just go, is her heart in it? Would she have married me if if my family was broke? Is that really a big factor? How are you finding these dates currently? Um, well, you know, just around town in church, things like that. You know, I try to stay off the Internet, but, you know, that's kind of this day and age. Yeah. So the people in your church. Um... They must know your family? Yes. Yes, okay. that's correct. So there's part of this that there's part of this that could be very real and there's part of this that could be perceived, right? Because uh, if I go back, if I go to my home church, people know, oh, Jade, she works for Ramsey. She's on the Ramsey show. Like she has this cool job, but it doesn't really change. I could talk myself into thinking they're going to see me different and they're going to talk to me different, but it doesn't really change anything because they've been knowing me for how, you know, 10 years, however long I've been at the church. So is there a piece of this that you're just worried about it or have you seen it play out and actually be a reality? Um, there was um, an instance where I was talking to a girl at a wedding that I'd met and the father wanted to get his daughter and, and leave the wedding. Everybody was leaving. Uh-huh. And, and he asked uh, the groom what my name was. And he told the father my name and the father said, okay, well, we'll just wait around and give them a minute to talk to each other. Weird. I mean, that's weird, but that's also like, I feel like there is, you should expect for there to be some like jerk moves or, you know, dumb people are going to have dumb moments for sure. But I definitely don't want that to talk you out of dating a really nice girl and because here's the thing, you're whether wealthy or not, you're going to go down the line with 
plenty of girls thinking, oh, I, I, like, I liked her and then it's not going to work out regardless of having wealth. You might get to the point of thinking this is the one and then it doesn't work out. I think that that's happened to everybody, right? And so I think that you're going to know pretty early in whether someone has ulterior motives or not. And maybe that's you developing kind of your own spidey sense, spidey sense or a little screen, a, a little sneaky screening test that you do when you're talking to people and, or there's a little checklist of red flags that you look for when they're talking to you. Are they talking about money in a way that you think is a red flag? Are they talking about, are they asking you more questions um, about your family than they're asking about you? Right. I think it's you going, okay, what, what is it that I need to be looking for um, when I'm going on dates? Also, who is it? Like if, if somebody is setting me up, who do I trust to say, oh, I have a friend, you know, they'll be, you know, because I do think that um, I think that the circle of people that you get in is really important because people know each other. Right. And it's like at my church, the folks that I roll with at my church, they know people and I know that the people they know are good people. And then I, since those people are good, people, it's like it's almost like birds of a feather flocking together. True. And so I would probably just decide like, hey, I, pro I don't really. There are certain people that if they say, hey, I have somebody I'm going to set you up on a date with, I'm like, mm, OK, no, thank you. You know? Yeah. I also wonder if he got out of his own circle, uh, Joe, would that help? Because they don't know you from Adam at that point. That's also good. You know, to where they're they're right. seeking you out for the right reasons and my worry is that it's going to be more paranoia in your head of like, oh gosh, they're trying to get up the family's money and they don't really care about me. And that's what I don't want you to have. I would just walk into it and just be Joe and take things slow, ask the right questions, you know, establish boundaries, be transparent. That's the best thing you can do in these situations. And over time, you'll vibe it out and you go, no, that's a good family. Those are good parents. They're not yeah. out my money. And that, that's always going to be a factor, though, you know? Yeah. Rachel Ramsey, when she was in college and met Winston, Winston was like, Dave, who's that guy? Yeah. And so that was a big factor. Of, there was no weirdness there. Yeah, I think, honestly, I think a lot of it could be in his head right now. He had that one moment that, like, kind of freaked him out, and that can definitely give you make you gun shy. But my guess is most people are not looking at, they're not, most people probably aren't making that connection. They're just like, oh, your last name is... G Jude, that's great. I'm not thinking St. Jude. It must be them. This is The Ramsey Show. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.